In week one, we've been asked to break our average day down into at least seven different categories of activity, approximate how much time we spent, and then turn that into a fraction. When you did that original activity, you might have already reduced your fraction to lowest terms, but if you didn't, this activity is going to require that you do. So making sure you've reduced your fractions to the lowest value, and we don't have decimals within our fractions. So like if we had the 0.5 in the video for the feedback, it explained how to convert that and so that you had whole, even numbers, no decimals in your fraction value. Now we need to show what those fractions are, or those portions, are as decimals and percents. So one-third is a benchmark fraction that you should know that that is 0.333 and so on. We'll just, we'll do a couple dots to say that goes indefinitely since we don't have the bar notation in drive, or in docs. So as a percent, that is going to be 33.3, we'll say. Percent, because to convert a decimal to a percent just means we move the decimal to the right two places. Five twenty-fourths, I have no idea what that is as a decimal, so let's calculate it. Five divided by 24 is 0 .2083 and 3 indefinitely, so it's 0 .2083 and we'll show the dots to say it showed that that 3 is continuing on. When we move our decimal over two places, that gives us 20.83%. Let's find out what 1 12th is. It's 0 0.083 indefinitely, so 0 0.083. And we'll do those dots, ellipses, show continuation. And then so as a percent, that is going to be 0.8 or 8.3%. One sixteenth is going to be 0 0.0625. Moving our decimal over two spots, we have 6.25%. We already did the 524th, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that to be lazy. What's 124th supposed to be? 124th is 0 .4, 0 0.0416666 and so on. So go 0 0.0416 indefinitely and and it on the calculator it only rounds up to the 7 at the end so that it just stops going so ignore that 7 and that would be 4.16% of your day and since we just did it once copy paste it you can type it in if you want and 1 48th is 0 0.0208333 indefinitely. So 0 0.02083 ellipses. And that makes it 2.083%. So this is what you needed to do for your day to calculate it. Hopefully, let's see if that all adds up to 100%. 33.3. 20 8.3, 8.3, 6.25, 20.83, 4.16, 4.16, and 2.083. 99.913. And since we had to cut off a few uh, decimal place values there at the end when you had that repeating three, that pretty much rounds up to 100%. So all of our time for our day has been accounted for.